Okay, so once more, everyone, um, I think, um, like we've promised, um, it's time to um, start the session fully. Um, and I'm sure that um, as the session proceeds, we will um, join in. Um, and I know that there are going to be very interesting questions that will be asked from Mr. Dennis. Um, and I can assure us that um, we're in the right hand. So um, I'll be handing over to you, Mr. Dennis Ezaga, uh, to take us through this session. And once more, thank you for um, you know, taking our time to engage us on the FCMB business. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Gide, and uh, great job you're doing with uh, the FCMB Hub One and also our partners, Passion Incubator. And I welcome everyone. Uh, so again, my name is Dennis Azaga. I sit with our business banking uh, group. So that's SME. So that's simply SMEs. So we oversee the SME segment. And um, we are building, we are not done. I don't think we'd ever say we're done. We're building a platform for SMEs and a key. So I'm going to take over sharing of the screen, uh, GD. And a key thing that we want to achieve. Uh, Judy, please just let me know when my screen is visible so I can continue. A key thing we want to achieve, achieve with this is- Yes, uh, yes it is, sir. All right, thank you. Thank you, Judy. So a key thing we want to achieve with this is to really listen to what SMEs want, okay? and not just build out from what we think they want, but listen to them. So I'm going to be asking for a lot of feedback. I'm going to be, I'm going to want this. I will request that this be interactive. So do not wait until the end. You can stop me and ask questions at any time. Uh, so key thing for us is to build what SMEs want, okay? Um, the other thing is really everything that deals with the proposition. So build, digitize services, digitize offerings, you know, and just make them available. Make it a one-stop shop for SME. So all the services here are not only for FCMB customers, they are open to non-customers of the bank. So it's essentially a bank agnostic. But to go straight to the point, so this is um, a pop-up that comes up if you have not logged in. So within five seconds of visiting the, the link, and the link is here. Is there a chat screen? Let me see if I can copy and paste it on the chat. Now I'm looking for the chat. Uh, okay, let me not waste time. I'm able to see the chat screen from here. Okay, so within five seconds, they are about to open the site. You can either sign in as a merchant. For now, we're offering just services. So you can subscribe if you, if you, I imagine that offers services. You can come in and you can subscribe to, to the business zone by signing in as a merchant. Otherwise, you can sign in as a non-merchant again. But here you have to be an FCMB customer. Here you can be anybody, customer or non-customer, or you can just choose to browse as a guest. Should you decide to sign in as, um, just to quickly take you through what that looks like, should you decide to sign in as a merchant or a non-merchant? Apologies, my internet connection seems to be slow. I'll just be sure that the router is working properly. Okay. So I'm just waiting for the five seconds to come up and then that message will pop up. You can always sign up from here. And if you have a sign on, um, if you have sign on details, you can log in. So as a non-merchant, you click on that and um, we try not to take too long. So these are just the fields, your first name, last name, email, mobile, phone number. Do you have an account? Put in a password, confirm your password, agree to our terms of con and conditions and presto, you have registered. If however you are a merchant, I just like that pop-up, I'm waiting, but maybe I shouldn't wait, so I can always come here to register as a merchant. Okay, here it is. So this is more detailed because we want more information. So there's basic information which you can see here. 
account information, contact information, company information. And once you are done, your merchant account is signed up. So there are two, what would interest, there are many things we, uh, we are highlighting or showcasing. And um, the most important one for this group is, so I'm going to log in as a merchant. Is what I'll be quickly demonstrating. Again, remember, you feel free to stop me at any time so I can take your questions. So we've created, amongst the various propositions that we have created, we've created a marketplace, which is this. I call it the primary proposition. So this is where the merchants come in. They log in and they create um, yeah, electronic shop, if you will. So let me show you. First, let me browse to the test accounts, the merchant test accounts that I'm using. And this is it here. You can see all the other merchants listed and we have a ratings category. So from an outside in view, this is what I would see. If I go into the merchant's shop, I can view his information. That's what I need. I can come in and see his listed services. Now, what we've done here is that if you have services that have a fixed price, then you can, at the back end, I'll show you how this is done. You can list the price and when the uh, uh, purchaser clicks on buy, takes into the checkout engine. However, if it's a service, so here's a bespoke design or let's say t-shirts. So, I mean, it, this requires more discussions between both the merchant and whoever is going to buy. So hence there's no fixed price and you can request a quote. So you can come in here and type, um, can you produce 20 t-shirts with branding, okay? So if you do this and you click on submit, it goes straight to the merchant's um, dashboard where they can initiate a conversation with you mm -hmm. and both of you can, so it's almost like a chat space. So you can have a conversation with him and when you have agreed on the quantity, the quality and the, the features you want, then he can raise an invoice and send to you and you can proceed. I just realized I logged in with the merchant's uh, profile, so I can't be sending this to myself. So I will probably try that again from another profile. Then just in case of, of all the things the merchant has listed, there's nothing here that speaks to, and you can scroll down. There's nothing here that speaks to what you have in mind. You can always speak to him and if you have a custom request. So this already uploaded what I keyed in before, but you can always write in a fresh uh, request. So this helps you to engage the merchant if what you're looking for is not listed here. To quickly look at the, and the merchant can also create, um, these are advertisement placeholders where he can put in um, creatives and it can include a link to those creatives, maybe to his website or to his promo site. Okay, so I'm going into the merchant's uh, dashboard. There's someone whose mic is open. If you are not speaking, please close, mute your mic. Okay, so now this is the merchant's dash dashboard and we, we like to remind merchants that they can share their profile across social media. So once, I mean, this is very useful in case you have someone who is saying, hey, you, you have a shop on business and what does it look like? You can just come here and share. Of course, this means WhatsApp means you have to be logged in on your phone. So or maybe your mobile, if you, or maybe your laptop, if you've opened the WhatsApp on web, so you can share that to your contacts. So this is just a reminder to them. Tied to that, we show merchants, um, there's a dynamic count of how many page visits you've had. And at the end of every week, we send an automated emails that show you the page visits you had in that week and the cumulative page, vis uh, page visits you've had um, from when you registered, okay? So you can set up offered services, and I'm not going to take too much time on this uh, because I've explained that already. You, these are 
these are services that have been, again, like I said, this is a test account. So these are services that have been requested for like what I was trying to do earlier, just I couldn't send a service request to myself. But these are examples of what have been done earlier and you can see the merchant can see the list here. Uh, so there is, there is managed, under managed, so you can see offered services and you can respond to them, okay? Oh, sorry, I made a mistake here. These are the services that the merchant is listing. So this is where the merchant comes. So all you saw on listed services, this is where the merchant comes to set that up. And um, you can either choose, you can choose a fixed price or the very varied price. So when you choose the fixed, the varied price, that is where you see a request a quote. If it's a fixed price, then you put a fixed put a fixed price there Be, so i don't get too bogged down into showing this what we really wanted to show to the audience of the of this interaction is that you can register first you can register here and make your services available okay the next thing so i'm going straight to my e-shop the next thing we want to show is that we also offer partnership services okay and then we do a tie into for this for because of discovery or for discovery purposes we do a tie in between merchants uh, who have registered here on the marketplace and what i like to call the platform so this we intend to continue to build out for now we have six uh, partners listed and um, we have two models we run here so oze let me scroll down a bit. Oze, Mindsmate, Traction App, School, Revocube. These are merchants that have done a white labeled solution for us. So when you click, it takes you directly to their site. Okay. For this, that's one model. The other model is that we can decide to build a partnership page for the merchant on Business Zone. But what we try to do for everyone is ensure that we tie the discovery from this partnership page to the discovery from, from the marketplace. And I'll just quickly show you that. So for example, if I show you Alpha Tech, who has a dedicated page on the business zone. Okay. So you come here. So this is a so this is the, the relationship with this kind of merchant is different. So with this kind of merchant, it's actually a partnership relationship. And we sit down, we look at the product proposition, we execute an MOU. And then we now do some integration to bring their services to the business zone and make it available. Okay, so uh, we can create this kind of page for you as one option, or we can have a white labeled page and you can click through and take you there. And it's the same experience. You key in your details for this merchant, you need to check your number. Once you're done doing that, then you can uh, proceed to payments. You can see that the user's details is pre-populated so you have very little uh, to add really so i want to show i want to quickly show you the discovery here so or let me know let me show you the discovery on trav cp so for trav cp and alpha tech these ones have pages on business zone and this is trav cp's page okay where so this is easier than alpha tech because for this one, you can just go straight to payments. You select what you want to purchase. Sorry, I thought I'd clicked. Okay. Your name is pre-populated. You and then you select the course you prefer. She has two courses available. Once you agree to share your personal data, once you click on submit, once you click on submit, it calls our web payment gateway. So let me use this opportunity to share what we're also building out here. So what we've done, so this is Paystack by default and everything that comes with Paystack, but we intend to build this out and make it more robust. Right now there's an option, and this is only available to FCMB uh, customers. So if you have internet banking or mobile banking, you can use this option. You can choose retail or business banking, and you can just make a debit directly to your account. So you're not using the gateway Interesting thing about this to the merchant is that this is immediate. So this is not T plus one. We're currently working with uh, Coral Pay. 
to include that as a third payment option here so you can use ussd as a checkout option but to quickly so we do not lose track of what i'm saying i wanted to show you how we've tied and for trap cp we built up to four levels of discovery so if i go to training i'm going i'm going now to the marketplace so if i go to training and development they are actually on the third page so i'm going to quickly move to the third page and locate them so if someone locates them this way okay and clicks on trap cp now i want you to see what traps so trap cp has taken advantage of the marketing banner that we allow people to use here and you already embedded the link that takes the when you click it takes you directly to her website so you can interact with her even off platform again she has listed the two products that she offers but what we did with discovery here is that when you click on buy it takes you back to her partnership page so that everybody comes back here and everybody's tracked uh everybody has a similar experience so for discovery we have I've just shown you two ways that we um, get that done for our partner. For TrapCP, we have three ways for all partners, but TrapCP is actually enjoying a fourth. So back to the home page. So we here we're featuring partners and uh, on a week to week basis, we want to start featuring merchants. We've not started with merchants. So you can see all the six partners are scrolling through here. If I click on Trap CP here, the same thing happens. It takes me back to her partnership page. So this also helps with discovery. Um, because at that, these three discovery routes are available for all, to all partners. The additional route that Trap CP is enjoying because uh, it's a course, a paid course, is if you come to courses, you select paid courses, you click on enroll. You drill in further once you confirm it also takes takes you back to the partnership page you know so um this is these are really the highlights there are other things we do on the business zone i don't think that's the core focus right now we have other propositions uh, women in business advisory services renewable energy we have merchant services we have an escrow account that is for the marketplace so that ensures that between the buyer and seller, once payment is made, we hold on to that money once only, and only pay the merchant once service is confirmed, delivered. Then if you want access to our loan services, you can see that we have a thriving, we have thriving communities, under resources, courses, mostly free, but partnerships like Trap CP will be paid. Uh, we also use this to advertise our events. We have an active blog, uh, we have a help site. We're working on tutorial videos, but you can get a quick link to FAQs. Okay, so I don't want to be speaking. Um, again, like I said, I like it to be interactive. So I really wanted to just go straight to the point and show the opportunity. Uh, again, when GD and I had uh, a discussion, we wanted to be able to bring in some entrepreneurs on FCMB Hub One to see if this if a partnership with business zone would help them to further project their, their business and uh, increase their customer base. One thing we do with all our partnerships, so if I go back to the partnership page, is that in, in collaboration with our brand marketing, once the partnership integration is concluded, we always build a, always build a marketing campaign that addresses, that speaks to, um, staff of the bank, then customers of the bank, and then we do um, owned social media handles. And if we get the kind of tractions we traction that we anticipate, we expect, we hope for, we can even take that to um, special or selected impactful websites, and we can put uh, marketing banners on those websites. So I'll take questions now while I try to show you what the experience looks like for Jose, who is off platform. Okay, I just realized that because of my sign on, you would not, you would not. Okay, so this takes us into Jose. 
and you can see Uzi's dashboard. But you, it only takes the on click, it only takes me directly to my dashboard because I've signed up. If I sign in with another with another profile where I haven't um, registered on Ozzy, you see that the experience is a bit different. So again, um, I'm open to questions, Babajide. I'm ready to take questions now so that um, I really want to get feedback. I really want to hear what people have to say. Thank thanks, you. Thanks, thanks a lot, sir. Um, thank you for this. Okay, so I think what we will do is if we do have questions, please just raise just raise your hands, you know, and um, Patrick will just uh, pinpoint who is asking the questions, then you can ask them. Um, and um, Mr. Dennis will be sure to respond to such questions. Okay. Okay. Thank you very Thank you. much. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. GD, Mr. Dennis. Um, so, um, I'm looking at a question um, basically from Silas Osoya, um, and it says, you mean apart from funding for working capital and expansion? So uh, the question is not a little bit- uh, I, think, I, think, I think that is not the question, Patrick. I think he was making a comment from maybe some statements I make around um, bond support. So that's not the question. That question is not re referencing FCMB business. No. Okay. So, um, any more questions from our participants and founders in the house? Okay. While we're waiting for questions, I wanted to show this. So, this profile I, I signed on with has not registered on OZ. And when I click on OZ, please interrupt me at any time. I'll just be talking whilst I'm waiting for questions. It takes me to where the user has to sign in. Okay. So this is the kind of experience we built. If you if you have if you are, if you have a login, uh, if you have login details, you log in. Clearly, you have not. We, this profile has not registered on Oze, so there's an opportunity to quickly register. Okay, but that other profile I logged in, that merchant profile, because I had registered, it took me directly to Oze. Okay, one other thing I want to. So let's also look at the experience, even for. So Mindsmith is off platform, I click it. I don't know if you are able to see, because I've opened another tab. Are you able to see that I've opened another tab? Hello, GD, can you confirm? Hello? Can someone please confirm that you are seeing the, the tab I opened different from business zone? Sure, sure. I think we've seen it. Okay, beautiful. So I'm just telling you the various models of partnerships that we can run. So this is white labeled. And when you click on, on, on the icon on the, the partnership icon, it brings you to the white labeled page. Okay. Um, again, if you do the same for RevelCube, it's the same. If you do for traction apps, it's the same. It um Okay, Traction App did something differently. So you can actually register on the business zone. Um, we created like an iframe for them, but once you've, you're done registering and signing up, it takes you into their own um, white label platform proper. Okay, so I'm still waiting on questions. While I'm doing that, I will log out and go back to the merchant profile. Okay, um, sir. Go ahead, please. We have a question here, and it says, um, "Does the platform require any monthly subscriptions, subscription fee um, from Olaji? from who? From who? Um, it has from this question is from Olajide Adebowale. Does the platform require any monthly subscription fee? I like I like that question and. What we are trying to build here is something that is similar to Google Play Store or Apple iOS Store. So you can choose to, uh, so for instance, this profile has already subscribed to Oze, has subscribed to Alpha Tech. And when you click on, so it's, it's like when you go to Google Play Store, you install an app, 
that app is available on your desktop. And that's the kind of model we're trying to build here. So answering your question directly, there is no subscription to merchants or users, okay? There's no subscription, it's completely free. But if you now come to our partnership page, and this is where it should be of interest to you. If you come to our partnership page, all these partnerships are paid. So there's a certain, so for, for instance, for Odze, first month is free, but after which you have to subscribe. For Trap CP, you have to pay for it. So the only, the only payment that will be required of you is when you come to a partnership that you, you see will be impactful to you as a business or as an individual. If you require that, once you click on it, then you would have to pay that subscription, okay? So across any of the six you are seeing now, and we have a pipeline of others that we are either building out or we are still in MOU negotiation stage. Uh, so for you, as if I, and I, I assume I'm speaking to an entrepreneur. So if you come in and we sign an MOU with you, we build out and we push to live on the business zone, would expect that anybody who subscribes to your service must pay you subscription fee. However, we require two things. One, that you make your presence on business zone, let it be somewhat at a discount from what they would have gotten if they are going to you directly, that's one. And then two, we'd like to take a share of a subscription for, for FCMB. You know, so I've gone in a roundabout, a roundabout way, but the simple answer is if you come in as a partner, you will earn money from subscription paid for your services. If you're a user of Business Zone, to use the platform is free. But if you decide to use any of our partners, our partners, then you would have to pay the subscription. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Um, okay, so I'm not really clear on this particular question from Issa Mohammed. Um, it says is how to pay for that. I'm not really certain on that okay, particular I question. Like, I like his question. So, and I hope this answers. If it doesn't, Issa should please uh, speak up. So for these two partners, they do not have their own checkout or web payment gateway. So we have, that's another reason why we built a page for them on business. And remember that Trap CP and Alpha Tech have their pages on business zone. And at checkout, they use our web payment gateway. So it's almost like that marketplace thing I was talking about. So if I do all this, it moves automatically to the FCMB web payment gateway. But the other people, the other four persons, and that's a different partnership model have their own web payment gateway. Again, because these are, if you like, closed systems where they we're just partnering with them on a white label basis. So when they receive the subscription, then they remit that to us. Does that answer your question? It did, sir. Thank you very much. So do we have any more questions in the house? Okay. Okay. Um, I just saw a question now from okay. Shun Ayebesu. Hello. So, what email does someone direct a partnership proposal to, or perhaps who does one talk to about a partnership with FCM? I I am the one. I okay. am the one. Why am I looking for this chat? Okay. I think. Um, GD, GD would assist to share my email address. Please just yes, reach out to me yes. by email. Yes. yes. Also, please share the link for business zone. Somehow, okay. I don't. Okay, my chat has opened. Can you see my chat? It's like you people can see everything. <laughs> Are you able to see my chat? No, not really, sir. Your chat is uh, private to you. It's private. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. I've just sent the business zone Okay, link, yes, yes. And then I'm dropping my yes. email address. Dropping my email address and I will drop my phone number as well. <laughs> but I like to get feedback. Remember I said that I really want to hear, uh, we don't want to be building and building and building what we think it's, it's nice. You know, we really like to get feedback. 
So at this point, um, the, the lines are actually open to everyone to throw in your questions. You could ask directly to Mr. Dennis, and I'm sure he would be able to uh, um, answer any question that any one of us here would have. So it's actually open to everyone. Okay, while I'm waiting for questions, I'll just show, I don't even know what profile I used to log in now. Okay, so this is a merchant profile. Um, okay. So I'm waiting for questions. I'm just talking so, while I'm waiting. Do I have so a question? Sir, there's another question okay, from so the you. same individual, Lajide Ade Bowali. As All a right. partner of FCMB Business Zone, would my mm -hmm. business benefit from any sponsored ads? Yeah, so that was what I said. I said that for all our partners, and right now we have six where we have concluded um, MOU, we've concluded the propositioning, which now leads to MOU. And from there, we now uh, do some development to put them on the business zone. So what you will get is that for each one of these people, what we, we've done for some, we are, we're in the process of concluding to start for the others. We work with our digital marketing team in FCMB and marketing is done at various levels. So first, so a marketing plan comes up, okay? And that will be advised to the partner so the partner can have some other activities um, at the same time to boost whatever it is we, 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 we will be doing. So we do it at three levels. One, we send internal communication to all FCMB staff so that they are aware that there's a new partnership and understand what the offering is. Two, we now send the communication to all customers, customers within the target market. So it depends, like for instance, this is for, this is primary, this and this are primarily for consumers. You know, so this will go primarily to, to the consumer segment in our bank. We'd also share with the SME segment, but primarily the consumer segment. Then this and the others are really SME. This will go to consumer too really but this will go to sme i think a part of this will go to sme so first communication goes to staff second communication goes to customers and we can choose the segment of customers we send to either consumers or smes or both thirdly we will now do it on all our own social media handle so you see it on fcmb instagram you see it on fcmb linkedin you see it on fcmb uh, youtube you see it on fcmb uh, facebook I don't know if I've got all of them, you know, but all our, across all our own social media handles, it, it will broadcast. And there would always be a call to action that brings back to the unique link on business zone so that people can, can register. So that they say, there's a, there's a customer journey that's implied. You click on the link on the text message or on the email, it brings you back here so you can onboard um, and, and subscribe. Thank you. So any, any other questions? Did I answer his question? Okay. Useful to know. Uh, uh, yes, I, I, I believe so. So there is another question from Titi Lola. Okay. Jerry, types listed on the business zone, the only categories of businesses catered for. I don't Sorry? see e-commerce in the list. Okay, so okay. are the business types listed on the business zone the only categories of businesses for? That's a question. I don't see e-commerce in the list, according to um, Titi Lola Abedji. Okay, thanks, Titi. I really I don't like know that. If I pronounce the name correctly. No, no, I mean, Titi Lola is fine. Even Titi is fine. So thanks, Titi. Uh, we will, however, and I think um, this has to be clear, Anything that competes with the business zone, uh, we will first look at how we can structure the proposition so that it does not look like it's directly in competition with the business zone. And I, there's a partner that I've had this discussion with. She had like an, it, a site that was similar to this. And we sat down. It took us some time, really. It's not as if we hit it right away. It took us some time of thinking and going back and forth. And we were finally able to... to extract a certain kind of value from her business, you know, that would not directly compete with business zone. So e-commerce, if you look at the marketplace is actually an e-commerce site, 
you know, so it will be cannibalizing my business if I start a direct partnership with, if I start partnership with someone who's doing the same kind of e-commerce that I'm doing, that will cannibalize my business. But we can sit down and look for how we can change that proposition and then we can partner. Thank you. Okay. okay, so I think uh, I don't see any more questions in the in the chat box. So do we have more questions in the house? Okay, I, I would also, whilst I know people are asking questions that are relative to um, how they can come on board, but I would like to also like to get some sense of feedback. What do you think, what's your response to what we have, we are building? Uh, I know I've not shown you all the features, I'm not taking you all through the various user journeys and use cases, but I would also like to get some feedback, thanks. Whilst I'm waiting for that, this is an ordinary user's profile. So you can see the number of courses is enrolled for events, webinars, service requests he has sent. You know, so you can see, and this, this is where, and then he can always upgrade to a merchant. So if he decides he has services later, please interrupt me at any time if there's a question. Okay, so this is, his interaction. Okay. Okay. okay, there's a question. Go ahead. Okay, um, uh, one more question from from your DG Popola. Um, so uh, yes, is it possible to discuss a different kind of partnership listed or addressed here today? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Like I said, we and let me go back so that you can see the visual. There are two things we are doing here. One. Sorry. One is merchant comes here to register. This is a marketplace essentially because we control the checkout with our web payment engine. But you want to partner with us, you can come here. Yeah, we can sit down and discuss the propositioning. That's very important. When we agree on the propositioning, then we, we can we have we have a deal. We can now sign an MOE. And I've said that even here, currently there are two models. More models could emerge. Who knows? The model for Trap CP and Alpha Tech is that we built a page for them and they use our web payment engine or web payment gateway to check out. For these four, they have their own web payment gateways because they are, their solution is self-contained. You know, So the agreement with them is no, no problem, go ahead, take the payment and you remit to us. So we're open, we're open. So you might not even be seeing the model here. Let's sit down, discuss the proposition and agree. Thank you. Okay, so um, currently no more questions in the chat box. Um, so I'm throwing it again to the house. Um, do we have any more questions to ask Mr. Dennis on as regards the FCMD business of, and how to help founders, entrepreneurs, SMEs in general on the journey to accessing the markets? Okay, whilst we're waiting for, sorry, interrupt me at any time, I'm just going to use the opportunity. So this is an ordinary user's profile. And if I, you can view the invoice. So he requested for, for IT solutions under the custom. So he did not see what he wanted and he was like, look, I want to import that, 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 that you know? And then an okay. invoice was- Sir, so I have go ahead, another go ahead. question. Go ahead. Okay, here, yeah, Madi. Uh, it says, do you provide any access to funding for businesses registered on your platform? Okay. So we, I think that's Chidi Amadi's question. Yeah. Chidi, thanks for that. We, so that's a separate conversation and the route that we take for um, asset creation or lending would have to come in. You know, so it's a conversation that we are open to having. And, and I mean, I know I'm dealing with entrepreneurs and I'm dealing with uh, tech founders here. So I'll, I'll be very open to, to you or with you. Essentially for you to borrow from the bank, you need to have had um, an account relationship with us for six months, at least six months, okay? Um, but there are two kinds of lending available in the bank today. So there's collateralized lending 
which is the formal lending that we all know of, where you have to bring collateral, where your tenure can be can be long. So you can take a loan for one year, five years, you know. But then there's also working capital financing, which is short tenured and is not collateralized. The catch there is that because it's not collateralized, it is the interest rate is higher. It's much higher than the collateralized loan. But the tenure is between uh, three months to six months for first time borrowers. And for, for repeat borrowers, we can take that up to up to one year, okay? So if you are, so th this is really what I wanted to say. Now, knowing that there is that six months requirement, we've been creative enough to utilize another tech company, uh, Walls and Queens, who are the promoters of my bank statement. So even though you, are, you have a newly, so you come to partner with me, Hence, you just newly opened your account, you started transactions, but because you need to meet that six month requirement to get a loan, we can actually get your statement from your other bank using my bank statement, pull that in, and we can come up with some eligibility for you. Um, but right now, this is restricted to only on collateralized loans, which have a cap of uh, 5 million for first time uh, borrowers and 10 million for repeat borrowers. And the, the, tenor, the tenor is, as I said earlier. So I think that's, that's just the answer. I suspect another question has come up. Yes. Um, so it says, do you help entrepreneurs have their business registered with CAC? OK, we, I like that question. And personally, we've been, I have flown to Abuja a number of times, I think three to four times, to sit down with the CAC. Well, hey, this is Nigeria. You know, it's an ongoing conversation and uh, because we're trying to automate it, okay? So that is a discussion that's ongoing for automation, but we currently have um, some other partners that we work with under advisory services that we provide as a group within the bank that we can introduce you to and they can help you register your business. Um, I have not bothered to include that on the business zone because essentially we want, we prefer the route of automation. So if I create it as a service on the business zone, you can come and click, 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 click. Your business is registered. You pay the fees and you get the documents uh, sent to you by email. Thank you. This page I'm on while I'm waiting for that question is just to show you what an invoice looks like that uh, a merchant can raise and send to his buyer. You know, and if a buyer clicks here, so this is the buyer's profile that opened this. The buyer can see the invoice, click here, goes to our payment gateway, and um, payment is made. This, of course, this is just a test, so we're not doing 100 million. The, buy, the merchant's logo will be here. We've not uploaded the logo. That's why it's blank. Do you have any, did I answer that question rightly? And is there any other question? Um, so, I, yes, you did, sir. Yes, you did. So, I have another question. It says, um, from um, do you create room for collaborations amongst your business? For example, I own an engineering as a service organization that focuses on teams building large applications for organizations. My organization is over six months old with FCND as a business account. I don't know if that question is straightforward to you, sir. So could you, what, what was the main question? Do we provide what? I didn't get that first. Do you create, okay, do you create room for collaborations amongst your business? For example, I own an engineering, an engineering as a service and or um, yes, basically. Yes, so I the simple answer is yes. Firm. Yes, I, was that part I didn't get. Simple answer is yes. And that's essentially what the business zone is for. So for such a person, uh, first you should register under the marketplace here. And then we can now, if you want to bring it in as a partnership, we can also take you under our, under our partnership here. So yes. But this, to come in here, we need to sit down and understand your proposition. So this is going to mean we sit down, we discuss the proposition, we look at the user journey and how we want to take 
take it to market and get benefits. We sign documents, we do some integration and yeah, it's possible. So um, the, the, the floor is still open for more questions. Uh, the chat box also is still open for more questions. Uh, okay, so I have another question. Is there any limit to the amount of transaction carried out on the platform? Ah, there's no limit to it. That's why we're here. There's no limit. If you can give me 100 million transactions, uh -uh. what am I doing here? There's no <laughs> limit. So, okay, so, so let, let me let me try, because I can see that question can be twofold. So it could be limit per transaction. It could be limit per day. Those limits, according to the industries, those limits are controlled by the banks. So it depends on the, the, the limit on the buyers, either his account, I don't think there are limits on accounts, but it depends on what the bank would have implemented, or it depends on what um, limits are on the buyer's card. But on business zone, no, there are no limits. We, we, we check whatever comes. Um, so is there, are there any questions as regards um, the platform itself from the house? as regards um, how the platform can better help founders that are currently within this uh, within this session. Do you have a, a particular question as it regards how the platform can better help you, your startup and your business in general? Any question in the house? Okay, so, uh, Sir, I currently do not have any questions. questions. Um, yeah, no more questions. I will take this as no more questions. So, um, sir, Mr. Babajide, um, sir, I talk to you. Yeah. Th okay, thank you. Okay, okay. Thank you no, so much. You, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Um, I think um, this session is going to be uh, one of many. Um, one of many because I've been trying to do some sensors on so, some couple of tech founders that actually have been um, disturbing me personally and even disturbing us in the community on frameworks that um, is available by the bank by which they can showcase their services. Um, so for some reasons, I can up to 10 of them or so I can see that the couple of them are not here. Um, so what I would, I would push for, sir, is in the coming week, um, I'll still have some engagements. Uh, we may have a like a session two of this um, so that uh, more of such founders can still join in for this conversation. Um, also, what I'll try to do is offline, I'll try to you know, take up some questions that some of them may have asked, perhaps they're in meetings and the rest and also still share. So um, thanks a lot, sir, for the time. Um, I think one of the key questions that um, maybe I would ask on their behalf really is um, the seamlessness of the partnership process. Um, how seamless is it for them as startups to, because that's usually the complaint uh, most of them do have. Um, these startups that uh, if we start partnerships engagement with the with banks typically it takes us six months one year we usually don't have such time so does business zone make things easier um, does it make things quicker for them um, since we have a platform and marketplace we can place them so is it is the conversation going to be quicker this time around with business zone? thank you sir so Thank Mr. you very Mr. much. So, so let me add another question so that you could answer both. So there was a question from Shane Aye Busu. Are partnerships limited to only business zone platform platforms or can it be extended to FCMB agency banking platforms? Sorry, did you say FCMB agency banking? Okay, so I said 
Are partnerships limited to only business zone platforms, or can it be extended to FCMB, HSC Bank, um, by Sheung, Bank, yeah. Aie, Okay, okay. So good question from Sheung. Again, when I was introducing myself, I said I sit in the SME team. You know, so my my perspective now is to build solutions with SMEs for with SMEs essentially. But the solutions can be for SMEs or they can be for consumers. Agency banking. So what I would do for you specifically is I can introduce you to my colleagues who oversee agency banking and you can partner with them. But again, if they, I would also listen to your proposition and we can think through it deeply. And if there's a way we can partner on the, on the business zone, then I welcome that. So you can actually have a partnership that's running uh, stand alone with the bank and then we have an expression of it on the on the business zone so it just helps with digital discovery uh, digital acquisition digital customer management you know so we can do that for you to gd's question and i thank you for bringing that up so realizing that we need to be agile and this is a word i use with great care because i'm a banker uh, we kid ourselves not banks are not built to be agile Okay, so what we have done with internal approvals is we have our DevOps team. So I actually have a team of developers and we use Scrum um, framework, you know, so they do their daily stand-up meetings. We do everything, Scrum artifacts. So all that boils, boils down to re speed in terms of uh, build and delivery. You know, what I think would take time. So you need to look at it end to end. So the first, the conversation starts, we would one proposition, two, we would negotiate MOU and sign. Then we'd start to build. But that building process does not, but I've seen building happen in two weeks. My developers can deliver some things in two weeks. I've seen that happen in two weeks. So, but max average of three weeks to one month, we were really done. If it's, I'm just so that we're clear, if it's this type, that's what I'm referring to. But if it's this type, if it's this type where it's um, white labeled, a lot of the build is done on your side as a partner. So when you've done that, uh, then we cannot integrate that to the business zone, which will take maybe about two weeks to do max three weeks. These ones are the ones that can take three weeks to one month. And that's just really because of fine tuning. They are the, the main framework is done in two weeks, quite literally speaking, because we can use, if you notice, you can see that the framework for this is similar to the framework for Trap CP, the page. So we, we, are not, we are not really recreating so many things from the scratch, so we can quickly deploy, yeah? So I hope I answered those two questions. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Thanks, GD. That was a good one. Thank you. Thanks a lot, sir. Um, I think, um, like I did mention, this is just one of many sessions, and we're going to have more of this. Um, I would also still engage um, the team at Top One, as well as our supporting partners, Passion Incubator, to also still have another of these sessions. Like I mentioned, there are a couple of names that have been sort of disturbing us. Let me use that word, disturb us that have been engaging us to want to know more about business so who I can't find in this meeting. So I will still I will still want us to still engage a couple of them. Um, so thanks a lot. Uh, um, thanks a lot for the time. Um, and um, I think we can call it a day from this point. We really appreciate the time you spent with us. Um, and we are very realistic and a couple of startups that would find uh, the business zone by FCMB very, very useful. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you very much, Baba Jide. Thank you, Passion Incubator. So who am I speaking with in Passion Incubator? <laughs> Patrick, where are you? Introduce yourself. <laughs> okay, this is not one of the people I know. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, okay, but I mean, I will appreciate your your partnership, your collaboration. Thank you very much. Again, many, many thanks to you, Baba Jide, for putting this together. I really appreciate it. Thanks to everybody who made time to come out. 
Uh, I am available anytime you call on me, Babajide. I'm available if you want us to meet in the night. So okay. it, is, it is virtual. Yes, when so we are all in our house, we can, we can call talk. a meeting because some people might be busy during the day. So if you want to share yes. the meetings later, I'm fine. Just let me know. It's virtual and we can engage better. Anytime you want to schedule another meeting, I'm available. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much, Mr. Babajide. Thank you all for joining the session. And uh, we call it a wrap. Have any more questions? Um, feel free to reach out to um, the email that was sent in by Mr. Dennis. Uh, so, any more questions, please direct to Mr. Dennis, or you could reach out to us at Passion in Computer. I would leave an uh, email. So you can reach out to programs at passionincubator.ng. Thank you all for coming. All right, thank you. Have a great day. And you too, sir. Bye.